this all started with an announcement by Dr. J.V. in an employee communication meeting. When he passed across Connaught Place in New Delhi, there is a, one of the largest national flag. But uh, the problem is the flag is not fluttering most of the times. So he said that we being one of the largest manufacturers of air compressors in the world, we have to make a system which will infuse air with the right pressure and volume, which keeps uh, the flag flying always. The idea was to, you know, fly the largest Indian uh, national flag. We knew that it's a huge task. Nobody has ever tried this and not much research has been done on this. But our final aim is going to be 90 feet by 60 feet. Since we decided to take it through across the people in every section of LG, we sent a communication to the people. This is what uh, it need to be. And uh, we want to do that as a contest, technical contest. Maybe around 40 people came and presented. So we initially shortlisted 26, and then next level, six ideas have been shortlisted. Post-evaluation of all these concepts, a core team was built. It was a combined picked up from various teams. So Dr. Venu and his team were involved with the design. Myself and Balaji will be mainly uh, you know, focused on the execution of the project. And there was Manoj, who will specifically work on the electrical design part. Last but not least, Mr. Muthu Kumar, who is always very enthusiastic. And every time when there is a contest, he used to contribute to innovation. Once we started going into the work and started working on, we recognized there is much more. So it is not only about fluttering the flag. There are several challenges. First of all, understanding the protocol of the flag. Because it's a national flag, it has its own protocol and it needs to be respected. We'll keep on interacting to understand flags. What is the mass, what is the rope, what is the size of the flag, how many fabrics are required, how to handle the flags, flying parameters, and environmental parameters, metrological data. So everything initially we studied uh, about the each elemental point. Considering the magnitude of the flag, what we are talking, and uh, testing at the heights, what we are talking, it is not practical to do the trials. So we scaled down the flag with an equal proportion and ensured all the trials and tests happened in the ground itself. Basically, there were 29 different ideas, you know, bucketed into six concepts. So we tried out all the six concepts. Major influence what we got from all these six flags is it's better to go for a fan instead of a pressurized air uh, to be more uh, energy efficient. The most important thing we needed were high-speed fans. So we designed LG fans with higher diameter, which can throw air up to 50 feet. If we have 12 fans in tandem, we can create that breeze effect or uh, the 30,000 CFM, which is necessary to keep the flag flying. These modules are positioned in such a way that uh, the first module is below the, uh, the flag size. I say if the flag uh, width is 60 feet, this will be somewhere starts at the 70 feet from the mast. This is for the lift and it is aligned at an angle. You have options uh, to take the fan inside and upwards. So this actually takes care of the lift of the flag. Then every 10 feet you have uh, these modules. So these six modules take care of the complete uh, lifting. After uh, you know, designing the fans, uh, we had to prove it before uh, putting it on a mast because we'll need some uh, customization on the mast. So the idea actually came from Dr. JV that we should find an under construction building. So luckily we found a building and uh, uh, same because of the emotions involved with the flag, the build allowed us to you know, uh, conduct the trials there. So basically the idea was the 60 feet and above floors, we fixed two fans at every floor up to the 11th floor. And then we blocked the uh, wind on the backside using tarpaulins. And a uh, pinch at the bottom and a pulley on the top. 
and uh, there was a lot of challenges involved in this uh, arrangement because uh, you can imagine there are no lifts we had to climb all the way to the 60 feet then 100 feet all of a sudden we get a call that uh, dr jv wants to come and uh, visit that early in the morning so he is so passionate he wants to see that happening because it was his, his idea to you know uh, try it on a, on a building and we were able to show it to Dr. JV when he came there and he was pretty satisfied with the trial. Now it is the time how it is going to work really in the actual condition. It is not a small mast we are talking, it is 120 feet and it has to withstand the winds and other things. It involves coordination with the procurement, suppliers, their design teams and you know you have to have a separate manpower with some unique skills and the installations and the infrastructure like variety of cranes, boom lifts, everything is required. Till date we used to design compressor only for the enclosed chambers but this control panel is well exposed in open atmosphere. That was a tough challenging and very interesting scenario. Every two minutes the flag direction changes to 90 degrees. Every 15 minutes it changes to about uh, 180 degrees and sometimes it gets entangled also. So how to ensure the air what we are focusing on the flag always be aligned to wind directions. So we identified self-aligned modules. So the module will be self-aligned. They are just aligned. They will change their direction with the force of the wind and always ensures the air is blown onto the flag so that there will not be any problem. The flag is holded by the snap rings. These snap rings has to pass through the modules. So there is a very beautiful design. There is a plate which holds these snap rings, which in turn holds the flag. Through this plate, the steel rope goes and the plate is free to rotate in 360 degree directions. So in the module, we made a final kind of design. When the plates move up, so they are directed to enter into the slots. As they rise up, they pass through these modules. And like this, they pass through all the six modules. The wind flow will be just vary from time to time. Top modules, if it has got stuck up by any means, means a VFD cable will just sit drip off and you will just cut off the particular module so that other modules will be working very healthy. If wind speed is high means the number, all the modules will be just cut off. And wind speed we used to measure with the support of anemometer and based on that, the number of modules will be getting operated. Our MD started the flag first. Flag started going up, we are watching, watching, watching. Amazing feeling of such a magnitude flag flying on the day in front of all of us. And it happened because of the diligence of the team, the meticulous planning, and uh, above all, the perseverance of Dr. JV himself. It's a very prestigious uh, project for us, and uh, we made a big success on MD Visions. This is one project which I can be proud of. I can uh, narrate to my children, grandchildren also. I'm very much eager to do a similar kind of projects in the future also. The company gives opportunity, it will be a honor for me also. We will be looking forward for more of such innovations, which will influence not only LG, but also outside, and contribute to the nation, and also contribute to the society. Our innovation journey will continue.